Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful good morning i just wanted to hop on here real quick to say good morning um it is saturday morning around 6 30 again um i'm in my housekeeping room i'm preparing to wrap up and leave work um i just decided to the disrespect um i guess that's my sign i need to hurry up but i just decided to come on here and vlog real quick i'm vlogged this week i have a few things to do this weekend as i am preparing to go to atlanta to see my boyfriend so i didn't want to just give you a whole bunch of b-roll for the intro so i just decided to hop on and say good morning but it's just me here until seven i got 30 minutes um and then i'm out but i just came in my housekeeping room to do some laundry real quick throw some stuff in our dryers um i don't need to hurry up and get back to the desk because it's just me and people are coming out for breakfast but and i'm not there but we're right down the hall but anyways i just want to just come in here and say good morning i'll see y'all later or in another clip whatever mind me my hair i know it look crazy um but as y'all guys just saw i just went ahead and got my feet done went and got pedicure um for this weekend um i'm about to go to jc penny's um to look for something um they have like I'm trying to find some like athletic wear or whatever um to wear for this weekend just because i want to be like chill comfortable vibes or whatever um it's in the same it's in the mall as well it's just i didn't feel like walking all the way down here but where i parked is technically like right next to it but it but inside of the mall it's a distance and i feel like walking so um i'm about to drive up there real quick and after that i'm gonna go get something to eat probably, i'm gonna go to popeyes go to the hair store then go home and like plan my outfits and figure stuff figure my life out um for this weekend but yeah but i love after i get a pedicure my feet feel so clean not that they was dirty but you know that dead skin and everything was off it just feels so good my skin feel nice and moisturized and everything but yeah okay either jacket or top on i can't vlog too much in here with me talking because the music is playing so like i just love athletic wear that's my version of being a comfortable so this is what i'm trying to find but not this color but okay. in an out trip i ended up just getting a gray hoodie but it's fine i really need to do a better job of bringing oh, my selfie stick with me when I go out places, I'll be bringing my selfie stick. I'll be trying to hold it in my hand. All right, we're on the way to get food. I'm so hungry. It is five o'clock, 4.59, right? Five o'clock pretty much. I'm so hungry. I'm going to go get Popeyes. Um, if you know me, you, I love Popeyes. Um, whew, I haven't had Popeyes in a second, in a second. Um, I used to do door dashing, like during the summer and everything, just to get like a little bit of extra money. Every time I took a lunch break, I was either getting Popeyes or Chick-fil-A, but 
I love Popeyes and I just started recognizing that they have like coupons on their actual website so that's why I always was going to go get them because they would, it would be like for five dollars you get you know the biscuit two pieces of chicken and um the combo pretty much the two piece combos for five dollars whatever so I used to always go like every other day I was in there for five dollars sure enough but I haven't been there in a second so this is what I'm about to get um right now and then I made it I made up in my mind that when I land in Atlanta I'm going to get Popeyes when I get there um the line to my future I'm so hungry I just hope this line go by quick to the hair store though but uh, I kind of just want to sit right here and eat it but I can't because I just know as soon as I back into this parking lot I'm gonna get stuck because Popeye's parking lot is horrible here it's horrible so I'm gonna just go ahead to the hair store oh it smells so good I just pulled up to the hair store and it's like I need to hurry up because this food smells so good <laughs> I'm just going in here because I need to find a mini, um, like a small size of like either the got to be glue or like the olive oil wig glue gel or whatever, just so I can have, um, for the plane, you know, I can't take more than three ounces and I'm not checking a bag. So yeah. Because they don't have the olive oil one. That's the one I prefer, the olive oil. I like that one better. But I'm just saying that got to be. I guess it's fine too. I think I'm gonna grab some lashes too while I'm in here. Bro, this tiny thing is $3. Are you serious? Rip off. Yeah, when I first started doing makeup, Kiss Lashes was always my go-to lashes. But then there's another lash brand. These, but not the magnetic ones that I like. That's my favorite hair store, but I can't find them. These are like my favorite lash brand now. The ID Envy. Well, the I Envy. Popeyes is mad disrespectful for these little pieces of chicken. Like, bruh. Wow. I'm still eat it though. The disrespect. Hello, 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 everyone. Good afternoon. It is a little past 12. Um, it is Tuesday. Um, um, I've been up since, as y'all saw, since like almost 8. Um, I was going through a lot of my clothes. I think I told you yesterday that I want to go to Plato's Closet, try and sell some of my clothes to them so I can have a little bit of extra cash um, for this weekend. So I was up for almost two hours kind of just like going through a lot of my stuff and stuff that I don't want just to see what they can possibly buy. Um, so I have all of that tucked and packed away. But now um, I'm getting ready to film. I'm just trying to start to film um, earlier. I've been up for a second and I need really need to film early just so I can have the rest, the rest of the day to edit and upload because tomorrow I have to work during the time that I typically will upload the video. So I need to have everything done by tonight. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I just want to hand in my skincare as y'all can see the glow. Nothing new. See my own the 
Y'all just saw me tack my wig down. Um, because of how the wig is set up and it's not really, it's a frontal, but it doesn't have that frontal effect because as y'all remember last vlog, I kind of messed it up. I just really tack in this area because that's really what's being seen. So I'm gonna have that on while I film the video and then obviously when I wrap it up, I'll take it off. But I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to record. It is... It is 126, so we'll see how long this takes. Um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up back here and then we're gonna get started. So I'll check with y'all probably afterwards and then when I'm on my way to Plato's Closet and y'all can see the whole process. So see y'all later. Hey y'all, so I just got done filming. It's about four o'clock. Um, I started filming at like two. So it took me like a little over an hour and then I stopped when I finished my makeup and everything so I could get dressed and do my hair um fix my hair and all the other stuff so this was what the video was on just this little look i just did a video on using some of the new products that i got um from sephora but this is what it is so let me get my selfie stick because it's going to be shaking okay so pretty much now i'm just about to clean up get my stuff together and probably head to play those probably eat first they had to play those closet. It's four o'clock. They close at nine, so I'm not in a big rush. So if I really wanted to eat and chill and start editing right now, I really could. Um, but yeah. All right, y'all. So I changed my clothes. I got everything in the car. I'm on way on my way to play those closet. I'm hoping that I have some luck and can at least get probably fifty dollars, maybe. Um, I know play those closet is very like picky as far as to the stuff that they buy and everything and. I know a lot of my stuff are kind of winter stuff now and then I have some stuff like for the summertime. So, we, and I got some boots, so we're going to see. Um, but it's back there in that basket. I read something saying that you shouldn't bring it in like plastic bags and a garbage bag or whatever, which I was going to do. Um, but I got that. So, yeah, I got 75 miles worth of gas. I'm going to see if I can make it, which I probably can. But I know when I have my heat on, it kind of takes up heat. Um, kind of, it kind of takes up some of my mileage or whatever, but we're on our way and I'll see you guys when I get there We're gonna see, you know, what they're talking about But I need this <laughs> See, I just got in here. I couldn't record me coming in because I was low-key on the phone For them, for Plato's Closet to be so picky, like, they're closing here, not even all that I really could have brought more of my more dressy stuff here, but I could have saw that they said last time that they don't take dressy clothes. I'm saying stuff in here that would be considered dressy, in my opinion. So she just started getting to my basket. Hopefully they take a lot of this stuff. No. Yo! Oh my God! God know what you need when you need it. Oh my goodness. I walked in there like, I had so much stuff and I was just like, oh. I was kind of iffy about some of this stuff and I'm like, no, I'll be good if they just give me like, you know, 30, between 30 and $50. And she, first of all, they took forever to ring up my stuff. So like, and I was low key like hiding it. I was kind of like, I am like, oh, I don't think she's taking that all day. She's not taking that. Oh my gosh, she didn't take that. What in the world? So I just knew that I wasn't going to get that much money. She watched, she caught my name and I walked up there all like, mm, cause I just, I was kind of watching her. I'm just like, oh, she didn't really take that much stuff. Like I seen she take a few of my, a few, a few pairs of my jeans and a few of my shoes or whatever. And I went in there, she was like, oh, you know, we took 36 items. And I was like, dang, 36 I have? I had a whole, I don't have that much items, I took 36? I didn't know I had 36, I didn't even count them. She was like, we took 36 items for $94 and like 37 cents. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't want to act excited in there because I just, I, I didn't want to be like, oh my God. So in my, in my heart, I was like, oh Lord Jesus, thank you, Father God in heaven. I was just like, oh, okay, yep. And she was like, is that okay? Which I was like, oh yeah, that's fine. And I was just like talking to her about some of this stuff. 
that she didn't take or whatever and she was just telling me like certain things that they they're, they're being selective about certain things but she was like you had a lot of great um she said you had a lot of great options your clothes are really nice she said some of this stuff uh we didn't take do it whether it was like conditioning or um just not and like that's that's things that like don't really sell for us right now i was like, okay when she told me that mom i was like oh my god I walked out the door and I was like, thank you, Jesus. I was like, I was gonna find my boyfriend. I was like, he you know what you need when you need it. I did not expect that. I went in here with, with low expectations and God came through. Thank you, Lord. But woo, I did I just did if I could get out of my car and shop right now, I would. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, God, I thank you. Like I'm not even being funny number, like I'm legit like god i thank you like i'm glad though that i went there with low expectations and he blessed me because if i would have went there with high expectations and it like didn't turn out white i kind of would have uh, i would have felt the type of way but i can buy some things that i need for this weekend that was the whole point of me doing doing this so i can have a little bit extra cash like i get paid friday but you know in this moment you know i just want a little bit extra cash but a hundred dollars for my clothes i didn't even think it was all that i just knew i was pushing it i knew i was pushing my luck when I walked up in there, that's how I say I take between like 30, 50, maybe. But they took so much stuff. Like, oh God, I thank you. But yeah, guys. So that was my experience. And the crazy thing is because the first time I ever went to Plato's closet, I mean I was in high school and I didn't really have that that much interest in clothes. Like it was just like mm. and I went in there and I took a whole bunch of stuff too. And they was just like not with it. Um and I think they only gave me back like $13. <laughs> so I just knew that like this time it was gonna be like a little bit more, but nothing too crazy. But just guy. I thank you. God, I thank you. You know, I got to pay my 10%. But, God, I thank you. Whew! I feel rising in my belly. Sitting here in a car with my boyfriend the entire time, and I'm just, like, praising God and thank you, God, for, you know, for him blessing me, God, with that amount of money. And just the entire time, I'm just sitting here praising and thanking him and everything. My boyfriend just like, yep, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He encouraged me. I'm just here praising and thanking him, driving. And I pull over because I'm like, okay, you know, let me let me put my Chick-fil-A order in. And I got getting ahead of myself. And I pull up in front of this sign. I don't know if y'all can see it because... It says, praise God and always, always. Yes, God, God, I thank you, God. You are so good. You're an awesome, God. You're mighty, God. You're wonderful, God. You're a provider, God. You're a miracle worker, God. You're my way maker, God. I thank you for being the light in the darkness, God. I thank you, God, for being whatever it is that I need you to be, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, God. I praise you. It's just like, I pulled up to the sign and it was like, wow. In the midst of me praising, in the midst of me, you know, just thanking him and being grateful for just little things, like the little things that he does that, that just continue to increase my faith, my faith faith in him god that is just in continuing to show me that you know i can trust and depend and lean on him for he know what's best for me he got me that he's for my protector and my provider that he got me and i'm good as long as i stay and remain in him i'm good and i just put up to this sign god and i thank you father for your signs and your wonders oh my god i just had to put this on the vlog i'm like this is just so crazy that i pull up to the sign god i wasn't even expecting this go this way and i'm like okay now let me turn on history because i'm gonna change my plans and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go somewhere else i ain't gonna go where i said i was gonna go i'm gonna go this way instead and i pull up in front of the sign lord god i thank you for always looking out for me i'm gonna stop because i feel i told caleb i said i feel my spirit quickening right now and i was like on the budget speaking in tongues i did it just a little bit god but i thank you i need to chill and relax because it's 7 12 and i got stuff that i need to go do god but i thank you father for looking out oh my god i need to let me stop let me stop i just have to show y'all this like oh my lord jesus y'all probably think that you crazy it's just 97 dollars like if only i knew my position that i'm in right now that 97 dollars is everything that i needed in this moment god i thank you father god i thank you lord all right y'all so i just got back home um after i left Plato's closet and everything i went to go get gas then i went to Chick-fil-A. Um, I went to Chick-fil-A. Hold up. The lemonade is so good. I went to Chick-fil-A. And this is my dinner for the night. Um, I got the mac and cheese, the chicken nuggets, and the waffle fries. Now, I'm not a real big fan of waffle fries, but I eat theirs without the sea salt. And then when I eat it, I get the Chick-fil-A sauce to dip it in. And I got a medium and they skipped me on the fries though. They barely filled it up. So literally after I got the bag, I was in my car and I ate all the fries. So I'm just like, it's not a lot in here. And I got to eat before they get cold because I don't really like them when they're cold. Um, so yeah, I just got home. And this is the basket that I took 
to Play-Doh's closet. The fact that she said that she took 36 items and there's still half of this in here is just like crazy. Um, but I knew I was pushing it with some of this stuff. I do know they probably was gonna take everything, but I was just surprised at stuff that they did take. Well, I was surprised about the amount. Um, I wasn't I'm not so shocked about the stuff that they didn't take. Um but so I'm just about to eat my Chick-fil-A and start editing because it is like what time is it? It is 8.24. Like I got them filming at like four o'clock. So it's been four hours. Um and I need to I need to edit and get this done. So I'm just gonna eat and everything. I have like 50 of these Chick-fil-A sauces out there in my little um uh cabinet joint because I just love the Chick-fil-A sauce. And I got the mac and cheese. I love the mac and cheese. And I know the chicken that just gonna be a little cold, so I'm gonna have to heat them up. But yeah, and then I had the I had the waffle fries, but they're all gone. I have to work tomorrow at Foot Locker again. Um, I get off at five, um, and then tomorrow after I get off is when I'm really gonna start like preparing even more for my trip this weekend. I'm gonna wash clothes tomorrow and just like start packing and whatnot. I actually want to record a video tomorrow as well, kind of do like a what's in my carry on type of bag, um, type of bag, what's in my carry on bag type of video, um, for the flight. I just don't know if I should do it here, if I should wait till I get to that to Atlanta. To actually record the video because i'm just like what am i gonna put in my carry-on bag um but yeah that's that's the agenda but yeah we're getting closer i, I say three more days because today i'm gonna with three more days and i'll be in atlanta i get to see my boyfriend and my god family and just be out of buffalo and away from the snow can't wait um but yeah that's what i'm really looking forward to and guys look at my foundation and everything like i had a mask on and my foundation and everything pretty much held up. I wish I could show you the mask, but it's in my car. Um, but it was just one of the medical masks. Like you can see the fact that it had found that it had foundation on it. I got like a little spot here. Um, it's a little loose around my chin and everything, but it still looks good. Like if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out my. I don't know what I'm gonna call the video that I just edited kind of like let's do a full face and no product makeup i have no clue but because that video that this video that i did for this face is going to be out before this vlog drops so i'll leave it in the cards go ahead and check out that video this full coverage look because i still look good with the mask and all you can't even tell that it was something confining me not even on my nose you can't even tell um that's because y'all it's getting so bad outside like it's um raining well now it's hell earlier it was raining so it's just hella ice like everywhere hey y'all good well good afternoon it's 12 30 it's 12 32 um it is the next day i'm up dressed and ready me and my sister are about to go run some errands you know to pick up some more stuff for my trip this weekend three more days three more days um, but pretty much, I'm going to the mall to get my nails done. Um, I'm going to try and find another pair of like, leggings or something and possibly a jean jacket um, to have for the plane to be like my jacket because I'm going from winter here, but kind of like 60, 70 degree weather in Atlanta. Um, so I don't need a full blown coat. I'm trying to find another jean jacket because the one I have got like ruffles on, not ruffles, but it's like kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It got this like texture on the sleeve and I don't want it because I'm going to be wearing leggings and like hoodies and stuff. So that's the mall back dressy. Um jean jacket so yeah so we're going there going to get my nails done look for that stuff in the mall going to the store and um going to target and then coming back home and packing and everything and preparing for the trip um so i have everything pretty much planned out in my head as far as what i'm gonna take but i just have to actually put everything together um i just heated up some uh, egg bowl that i have for my job so I'm about to eat that real quick and I'm waiting for my sister and then we'll be on my merry way. This is how we're going. No wig, not really glued down. No makeup or anything on. We're giving fresh face vibes, but you know, yeah. So that's what we have going on today. So I'm definitely gonna take y'all along with me. I'm gonna try and get some clips of me getting my nails in. Um, trying to debate if I should drink, bring my selfie sticker now so I can kind of like prop my phone up. Well, my sister's gonna be there maybe because she's actually held my phone for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in a second. I'm gonna heat up my food and everything.
Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual They passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts We slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in rows be too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Gotta move on my release day, huh? This is fame, not clout I don't even know what that's about Watch your mouth Maybe got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell it is what it is Now, that's where he belongs Okay, now that's like, too much She was just, she just wasn't responding and She was like laughing, walking away And I'm just like, why are you? Yeah, I wouldn't be sharing all that but. Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Where they passed us, they doing too much haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block Y'all know what I have to do when I come into the mall Get my Starbucks I got a strawberry refresher And then a bacon and sausage breakfast wrap And then I got my sister right here But I don't know if she want to get on camera I'm, cool. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I'm about to go back to Starbucks and have them remake my dream Because I did, they did something to it and I don't like the way it tastes like, <laughs> I don't like the way this tastes. I was asking to rebake it. Is, is there any way I can get this remade? It has a funny aftertaste. I just get this, this all the time. I can't describe it, but it don't taste right. Okay, yeah. Well, it was just, could you turn it around? Oh, sorry. The strawberry um, refresher? Okay. I'm just going to take your sticker real Okay. Quick. Here, we can't take the drinks back. If you want it, you can, like, throw it out in the thing or you can keep it, but we will remake it for you. Okay, I'll throw it out because there's no reason for me to keep it. But wait, this is the garbage can. I said it's the garbage can. It's going to leak. It's probably not a whole thing. Just throw it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but this is like liquid. <laughs> yeah, I sure wanted to spit it. Because <laughs> it started leaking. Take out the trash and it's going to be wet. Here, let me try this one out for free. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Better? Yes. You, got it. you too. It's not. It's loose. But it's not. It's not the same. What is going on here? So they remade my Starbucks drink and it was still nasty. So I just threw it out. Um, <laughs> now we're walking to Sephora because like I said, I need to find a travel size setting spray. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, I'm just, I'm just grabbing a set and spray. Thank you. I think I'm going to try this one, but then Rare, Rare Beauty. Oh, is this not even focusing? I heard a lot about Rare Beauty uh, setting spray, so I kind of want to go over and look at it. Oh, they moved. Okay, because there was people over there. This, 4-in-1 mist. This keep getting blurry. $24, though. What's the fluent ounces? It's 2.8. Hmm. Should I get this or should I get the Milk Cosmetics one? It say, always swim for Optimus, Ultra Fine Mist, Hydrates, Prime Sets, Refreshes, refreshes Natural Duty. This is $24 though, that's more. If I get that, I'm putting that on a card. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm saying what? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> She said, talk, she's talking about something that she know all that she's like experienced, like she's know a lot of the workers in here and she's never met her before. She feel like the transaction is like tense and everything. At this point, we're just wasting time because I still haven't got called yet to go get my nails done. So I need to stop looking around because I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to want to buy something. 
That's all me right there. Do you see another zombie? <laughs> I've been walking around this mountain for an hour and I'm finally sitting in the chair. Both places who said they was gonna call me never thought. And my fingers are swollen up. And they itch. I'm not sick. I am a demonic spirit. Don't place that on me. Y'all got that demonic spirit. I am healed and whole in Jesus' name. Y'all got that demonic spirit. You got the demonic spirit. <laughs> This is so cute, both of the colors. Anybody else low key really shop at Target? Cause I do, and I love it. Oh dang! Take a chance, you never know, but you don't know it's beautiful.